one of the coolest things about free diving, if you don't know anything about it, is it, it all it is is snorkeling, holding your breath, and diving deep. So if you want to challenge yourself, go ahead and start holding your breath and come with me down here. Um, we're in Fort Pierce today, and we're diving down, and we're going to explore a little shipwreck that just happens to be covered with bait. And for me, in diving, no matter what I'm doing, it's always interesting, it's always cool, and there's it, just amazing to see something like this with so much bait in such a small spot and it's constantly changing so it's like liquid art really and you can't duplicate this you know unlike any other sport in the world you have one chance to do this so the guys that are good at this I, I have so much you know so much respect for so you know, just sitting here watching this, it, I'm glad that I have a good camera now that I can record it and share it with you because you, you really can't describe this kind of stuff to people, you know. The way the bait moves, I mean, I, I'd love to hear your responses on, on what exactly it is, but it, it's like, it's almost like mercury, you know. It's moving all around. It, it changes temperature constantly, and it's just all over the place. This bait school is covering a small wreck off of Fort Pierce, and as I'm about to show you here, underneath everything is a big school of uh, Goliath grouper or Jewfish, which have been protected for about the last 15 or 20 years. And they've gone to such numbers now that anywhere you go, there's tons and tons of them. And the coolest thing to d this day was watching the bait change constantly and every once in a while they would move in just such a way that you could see all these goliath groupers and um, yeah it was pretty cool so glad you had a chance to take the time and watch this and uh, experience it with me